Hello everyone. This is a short video showing you how to fix the lip syncing bug common in Windows operating systems after XP. For years, ever since Vista came out, Valve has been completely unable to come up with any sort of fix that would make these operating systems capable of lip syncing in any way whatsoever. In other words, they were too busy recycling Left 4 Dead into Left 4 Dead 2. Anyway, the community pulled together and managed to make it quite, work quite well with no help from them. A guy named Varsity put together two tools that will help you set this up. One is the Source SDK Windows Gadget. This lets you start the SDK tools without having the SDK itself running, as you'd normally have to. Normally, when the main SDK window starts, it replaces any executable files you have with the official ones from Valve. So this tool circumvents that. The second is a custom DLL file for the phoneme extractor that works with the newer versions of the speech API that ship with Windows Vista and 7. Credit to Varsity, but I'm just going to show you how to set it up. First off, Varsity is British. This is actually a problem for some people. If you live in the UK, then you're not going to have a problem with this, but most people are going to have to change the settings for their speech API. The way it works is, go to your control panel, go to speech, speech recognition settings here, and then there's an advanced menu right here. And here you can select the exact language that you're going to be working with. There's English in the United States, and then there's English in the UK. We need to pick the UK because that's what his tool works with. If you change it, then you're going to have to restart so that it recognizes that. Yeah, and you'll get this error message too. And it'll ask you to set up speech recognition, but that's not necessary. When you open up the zip file that's given to you, you'll get something like this, just these three files. The readme that's here will give you a pretty good description of what we're about to do, but I'll just go over it with you as well. So here in the Steam Apps folder, you're going to navigate to the level of the source SDK that you're going to be working with. So either way, you'd be going to your account name and then source SDK right here, binary and then it would be between either Source 2007 or Orange Box. Orange Box is the very most recent one that's used for the most recent versions of the Team Fortress 2 engine. And Source 2007 is what I'm working with. And then into the binary folder. And there will be a folder marked Phoneme Extractors. You can see here I've made backups of the folder and a copy of the folder here of what we're going to be replacing in. So I'm just going to drag these two from here into the phoneme extractors folder and copy and replace both. And that should be all we need, assuming that we have the source SDK gadget up here. So why don't we just go in and see if this works. All right, so I have my sound file here and it's pretty basic. I don't like manual syncing. Alright, so I'm just going to put in a phrase. It's already in there. And just like in the previous tutorials, you just commit like that. And I don't like manual syncing. And that should do it. Thanks for watching.